There are so many fake Pokemon products on the market that you don't know where to begin, but I came across these two Chilling Rain, aka Pokemon Go fake boxes that claim to be real. We're about to open up both boxes to find out how bad they are, or how good they are, or if they can fool you. So let's get opening and let's get chasing some fake Pokemon cards. Welcome back my Chase family fellow card chaser here, Pokehan. And here we have the Chilling Rain boxes here, Pokemon Go Chilling Rain, whatever that means. They just slapped the logo on there because it's popular at the time. Now Chilling Rain, AKA Chilling Pain, I bet you the pull rates and the fake ones are just as bad as the real ones. So we've got ourselves the Moltres one there. We've got ourselves the old Ice Horse Rider Man. Now, I don't know exactly what comes in each box. I know I've got, I've got a couple of each because you know one day i might want to reopen them and things like that have a laugh we're also going to be doing another video here the fake booster box of lost thunder so that's going to be great. interesting that's yeah tongue twister that's going to be interesting to open up don't you think ditto <coughs> that's right remember if you like these kind of fake unboxings comment leave a like subscribe all that good stuff now on the back here We've got half the writing here that probably doesn't even make sense. So I have some sort of, you know, spelling error or don't even talk about the set that's in them. Now, I'm not quite sure what is in them. I'm going to assume it's like a couple of like special cards and a bunch of crap at the end. So there is the box. The box itself doesn't look too bad. It doesn't feel that bad either. Compared to the really bad ones I've opened up, it's not too bad. All right, what do we got? We've got here Rillaboom of VMAX here. That looks... Okay, that doesn't look too bad. And obviously the back, what is that? I don't want to know what that is. Now, that doesn't look too bad. Obviously the tear test, I'm assuming it's just going to be a sticker. Yeah, just a sticker like always. Holographic sticker. One day I'm going to, unless I already have, and I can't remember, but like rip a real VMAX card just to see if it does the same thing. All right. What else do we have here? We've got ourselves the angry bird that wants a fish. Nah, that, that's pretty dark. The back of it is really bent. God, it's like warped from the heat or something. All right, so let's open up one side. Then we'll open up the other side. And then we'll open up the other box. And then we'll realize that that was horrible. All right, we've got ourselves the Urshifu V Max Single Strike. These are like a dime a dozen if you want the real ones anyway. All right, not too bad so far. Like these actually don't look too bad. A bit glossy. But they don't, they're not too bad. They feel a bit dark on the back, but they, they feel a lot better than some of the other ones. Not so plastic-like. Doesn't smell like nail polish. Some of my other videos, they've smelled like nail polish, in case you're wondering what that is. All right, what do we got? Ooh, look at that. That's like a alternate art. Now, Cedra. So far, so far nothing screaming out. So I guess this is kind of like, you know, I don't know. What would you call this? Like... They just put together a bunch of booster pack fake ones they put together and just slap it together and there you go. So where did I find these? Um, there's like a shop. There's this place near where I live. It's not near where I live, but it's not too far. It's like a Elizabeth shopping center. And um, there's a place there, Mix Max or Mix and Max or something like that. And they sell heaps of fake Pokemon stuff. Some of the fake Pokemon plushies look pretty good actually. Better than the real ones, surprisingly. And uh, obviously, that, whoa, that's, that's supposed to be like rainbow. And you just tell there's photocopy like the um I don't know like the rainbow effect that's even the back of that looks horrible. Alright, see so just no incline. But yeah, like I was saying, I've gotten heaps of fake Pokemon products from there. They do the little um oh they do these things. I've got to open up these in a video. So there's a little weird brilliant star booster box, mini box things. I've got a few of those. Just buying them because they, they they keep coming out with like different ones but with different logos on them. And I'm going to assume, I think like I'm waiting for um, a booster box to come in of that Paldea Fates. Because obviously there's no booster box for that, I don't think. And so obviously straight away the booster box would be fake. But it would be great to open up because I want to see how good they've gotten with that set in terms of fake cards. And um, the two new sets that are coming out, I forget what they're called, like the Masquerade one and things like that. i got a booster box coming for that one. It's already a fake booster box for that. Yes, I know. i got my hands on it. All right, we've got the green box of the Chilling Rain. Oh, Tyranitar on the back. Tyranitar on the back, my boy. Looks really good. The box itself doesn't look too bad at all. Packaging is horrible in terms of, like, it's all bent. All right, we've got another Rillaboom. Full art Rillaboom. Look at that. That isn't... That, does, that, does that look any better than the other one? Did I, did I rip the other one? 
I must have ripped the other one. I threw the other one. I don't know. Do I have the other one? I can't be bothered getting the other one. All right, there we go. Let's just tear up this boy. There we go. Look at that. Clean tear. Okay, so I've got one side and then the other side. And then we've got a little feel on how bad these boxes are. So you guys know what to look for. You know, what to avoid. In case you see these on the shelf and, you know, you might want to buy it to see what's in it. I do this so you don't have to do that. And also just fun to... Because, like, different places make these fake cards. Like different factories, different places around the world. Taiwan, China, even some place in Japan. You know, just make these fake boxes. And some of them are really good. Some of them they take time with. Some of them they just print out left and right. But they keep doing it. And obviously they just take a card, photocopy it, and away they go. Because some of these, like the Sun and Moon fake cards, like, some of them is really badly photocopied. It's like back in the day with fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards, it was really bad too. Obviously, like if you like properly look and things like that, some of the font might be off, some of the um, the writing might be off, the spelling, the moves, the HP, whatever you want to call it. There you go, Tim the Toolman Taylor. Oh, he's got a bit. Of, I thought there was a bit of snot coming over his nose. Then we're up to the last few cards. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen these in your shopping center or just you know at a flea market somewhere. If you ever got them before as well, if you've been fooled with fake Pokemon cards, what do you want me to open in the future? Remember, comment, like, subscribe, help evolve this channel. We're on the road to 10,000 subs, and we're going to end it on a level ball. Level up this channel and subscribe. Till next time, we'll see you in the next chase.